people really make it hard for other people to go cruelty free. <laughs> What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm looking a little rough today. <laughs> just took a shower so we all know I took a shower. Stop asking, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, but seriously, I just thought I would do my makeup today and just talk about some new products. I have a ton of new products. Well, not a ton. I've got a few new products that I wanna try and just give you my unfiltered review. Oh my God, do I have lice? Oh no. Okay, I'm good. I think I'm good. So, first up in the hot seat is the Skin Iceland Glacial Spray Lotion with Anti-Pollution Complex. So, I got this from Octoly for free, um, but I'm not on the PR list. I just got it for free, and it's like a website. The only reason I have this is um, because of Octoly. Otherwise, it's launching in May on Ulta, and then um, I believe in June on Skin Iceland. So... Um, it's new. I have my hands on it before anybody else. So, anyway, this is, I just thought it was cool, like a spray lotion. Oh my god, I should not ever do my hair like that ever again. <sighs> this is how short my hair is, by the way. This is what happens when you bleach your hair, ladies and gentlemen. It breaks off and you will never be able to grow it past your shoulders. Well, actually, wait a minute. That's past my shoulders, so I'm an anomaly. Spray out to cheeks, chin, and forehead. I can do that. Okay, I'm rubbing it in. I like that it doesn't spray like that. Because otherwise, I think things would get a little hairy. Not gonna lie. Fast absorbing multifunctional mist hydrates while combating signs of fatigue, creating an invisible shield that minimizes exposure to harmful daily pollutants such as cigarette smoke, heavy metals, and exhaust fumes. Quick and easy protection for all skin types. Tones and helps repair, leaving skin stuff there. Okay. So that's kind of cool that it's like a pollution. I mean, I don't know what, what's in it though. Like what's in it that makes it anti-pollution. Honestly, like it's, if you're looking for like a really hydrating one, I don't feel like it's that hydrating. Like it kind of really dries fast um, and it leaves kind of like a, mm, it leaves something to be desired. Let's just say that. Like my belief, Aqua Bomb, it's like a high, it is a Aqua Bomb. It really hydrates and I just don't feel like this off the bat does that. I like the fact that it, like I might use it in conjunction with my belief aqua bomb but that just seems like a really intense set of steps so yeah not sure how i feel about that really honestly and i'll have to keep trying it but ah ooh, oh my god i have malaria it's got a text message for free chipotle delivery dude i haven't really been feeling chipotle lately i've been really thinking about white castle all the time <laughs> but i really need to be skinny for new york i need to be skinny you guys like i it's it's not an option at this point yeah i really don't think i like that that um skin iceland so some of you guys are the smartest people i've ever met you told me because i told you i down i got a hulu account signed up for a hulu account and you guys told me that if i sign up for spotify premium i get hulu for free and if you're Spotify Premium as a student, it's $4.99 a month. You get Spotify Premium, no ads, free music listening, downloads, and streaming. And then you get free Hulu. Well, not free, but like it's all $5 a month for both. And honestly, I'm going to say this. I think Hulu might be better than Netflix if you are a reality TV watcher as I am. They have... America's Next Top Model on Hulu. By the way, a Hulu membership without all of that stuff is like, I think it was like $7.99 a month or something like that. So like I was paying $7.99 a month or I was going to, and then now I'm paying only $5 a month and I get both. Like what the heck? Like sometimes life really comes at you fast and it's amazing. Okay, so um, what was I saying? Oh, Hulu, America's Next Top Model reruns project runway reruns my 600 pound life seasons two through four i don't know why they don't have season one they have real housewives of beverly hills and atlanta they have 
Vanderpump Rules. What else do they have that I was like excited about? They have like Kitchen Nightmares, Top Chef. No, do they have Top Chef? I don't even know. They have amazing shows on there and I'm just freaking pumped about it, okay? I'm back. So while I blend this out, oh my God, talk about worst lighting in the whole world, sorry. But I don't think I've said this yet, but I'm done with my classes for the semester. But I wanted to give you guys an update on my group project. If you saw my video from a while ago, I did a video like ranting about the worst group project members I've ever had. And I said that I had sent like a really long email explaining to my professor what had happened. So it was like a lengthy, grungy email. And I was super mad in it, you know, as I should be, I feel. It was totally justified. So I sent the email and I told you guys that he had not replied back by the time that I was making that video, which was honestly, that was a few days later that I was making the video. So for him not to have responded by then even was bad. Would you believe that guy did not ever respond to my email? Never addressed my concerns. Just put a grade in the grade book, which by the way, I got an A on it because I'm the best. But if my group members got anything, if they got the same grade as me, I am going to freak. I would freak if I knew. I'm never going to know at this point and I really should just move on for it. But if I get a course evaluation for this teacher, you better believe I'm filling it out because honestly, this was for a, um, a, like a theater and film class. I have never had more work in a class before in my life. In my life, you'd think I'm in a master's program. Like, a, no, you'd think I'm getting a doctorate in theater and film with how much work that we had to do. Not to mention, so I had like a bunch of problems happen. Like, I literally like could not access one of the quizzes because it like, when it popped up, no questions were there. I took a screenshot of it to send to him, sent him an email, said I couldn't get in, never responded to me. Unbelievable. So, Anyway, um, thank God that's over. Like, thank God that's over. I honestly, I'm creating a Rate My Professor um, account just so I can like try to stop other people from taking this guy's class. But um, anyway, I'm using the Glossier Halo Scope in Quartz. I've tried this before. Hopefully it comes out good. Hold on. Can I be honest with you guys? This is not worth the money at all. All. I don't know if this is better if you're doing like a no makeup day or something along those lines, but this does not show up. I already had this like glowiness from my foundation. It does not show up. It does not show up. I literally do not recommend it. Um, there's so many different like sticks that you can buy. That was like 20 bucks, I think, or something. I just don't recommend it. It's just not good. But this I do recommend. This is the Glossier Cloud Paint in Beam. A life changer, okay? A life changer. Today I'm going to, I think I want to go to good, like thri go thrift a little bit at Goodwill, see what they have. They have really good books there. They have like $1 books. They have like, usually the, I can find the Twilight movies on DVD um, for like a dollar. So I want to try to like maybe pick those up because I've been really back into Twilight. Because <laughs> I had to write a paper for my film class and I just was like, you know what? It. Like for the film journal, I'm just writing all about the Twilight movies that I've already seen because this is bullshit. Like I'm not, <laughs> this is too much. It's, it was too much. So I was just like, you know what, whatever. I'm just going to cut corners. But then I started like remembering watching scenes from Twilight again. I'm like, oh my God, I'm triggered, dude. Like <laughs> I just love, they're my, it's my favorite. I think I like it over Harry Potter. I really do. But yeah, that's kind of, oh, and then what else am I doing? I want to, I need to go to Walmart and get a few things. Um, you know how it is. I always like to look around, just see what's good, you know. You guys, my daffodils already died. I don't know what the problem is. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to happen, but it's like such an eyesore and I literally paid so much for the, I paid $5 for each. I bought like, well, I bought 20 bucks worth of them, but still, they're, for them to all be dead, I, I got to enjoy them for like, three days. That's some bullshit right there. I'm using a cream bronzer and it's not looking too cute. I'm not gonna lie. Things are not going well. Really not going well. Like I really just look orange and weird. Holy moly dude. Like holy freaking moly dude. Am I doing okay? I don't know if I could fix this. In my hairline, when, oh my god, when you have like bleach, oh my god, look at me. I look like a poodle. Ah, 
it's my least favorite breed. What am I talking about? Whatever. I don't even know. <laughs> oh, I need to go to Whole Foods too. Ugh, I hate going there. I feel like a lot of people feel like Whole Foods is an experience, but for me, it's just like, it's like a money black hole. I'm like, I never like going in there. It's just, ugh. It's a bunch of people who think they're healthier than everybody else. And like, and it's just like so expensive. It's like, what's the deal? Like, why? I thought Amazon prices were supposed to drive it down. Why do I still pay six dollars for cream cheese? <sighs> My life is so hard sometimes, I just can't even believe it. Laura Mercier, I'm gonna use this powder. So this is new to my collection. I recently got it sent to me um, from Influencer, from my, my good friends at Influencer, and I'm like back in love. This is what I used to use for like when I worked at Sephora and like my makeup, I don't know what it is, but my makeup looks so much better when I used to work at Sephora and like that should not be the case. I should be getting better each day, practicing training. And I'm just not looking as good as I used to. And honestly, I think it's because I have these really deep wrinkles. You can't see them now, but I'll definitely like show you a little bit later. But I have really deep wrinkles in my forehead. See this? It's like, her I think it's hereditary, but like, look at this too. I have like a divot right here. Don't know where that came from. But like, my foundation just gets stuck in there. Ugh. It looks terrible. And there's really nothing I can do besides get Botox, which I am getting, by the way. And if anyone tries to stop me, I'll be mad at you. I'm the one person in the world that, like, they, I need it. Like, I think I'm the only 23-year-old that, like, really needs Botox, like, to survive, you know? You know what I would really love? Is I would love to get Botox in my chin. Because I don't know if you guys have seen, you probably have, and you just haven't said anything. But I have a really bad side profile. And I have, like, a freaking, like, a frog, like, a little frog throat, like... When I turn to the side, it's like, it's like, looks like I'm about to rib it. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Like, it's so, like, I can grab it. And I don't think it's, like, chub. I mean, it definitely could be chub, but I don't want to believe that. But I feel like if I just had, like, a little bit of a shirt for jaw. Oh, my God. You scared me. What are you doing? Talking about my ribbit. Your what? My, my chub. <laughs> <laughs> what? Are you going shopping? No, what are you doing today? Yes, you are. I'm not going shopping because I'm not the one that eats all the food. Who's the one that ate 10 salad bags? 10 salad bags. And ne now needs to go back every three days to the grocery store. Uh, who ate a whole pack of hot dogs? I didn't. There's still, like, a whole thing in there. Oh. Yeah, good try. Good try. Don't go into detective work, that's for sure. You better start getting ready so you can go to the mall. I'm not going to the mall. I'm not going to Ikea. I'm not going to Home Goods, And I... And for sure, not leaving the house. What are you gonna do today then? Because you definitely need a shower. That's what you for sure need to I'm do. I'm gonna shower after I work out, like a normal human being. A human being? Bye. Oh my god. What was I talking about? Oh, my ribbit. <laughs> okay, actually, I should probably get off that topic. But I honestly, I feel like I've heard of people getting Botox right here, like to make their chin just like a little bit, like jet out a little bit, and then right in their jaw back here to give it like a more defined, you know? So I honestly am looking into it. If you've got that done, let me know right now in the comments. And if you don't let me know, I will be mad. If you don't let me know and I find out that you have had it done, I will be mad at you. Jarvis coming in just reminded me of a funny story. I don't know if I've ever told this story to you, like on my channel, but when I was in high school, I never got in trouble. I was Miss like Goody Two Shoes. I need to tell more stories in my high school days, but I just can't like remember them. Honestly, I cannot remember. Oh, I wanted to do this too. So. When I was in high school, I don't know why this was, like, I was such a good student, like, just, you know, I, I did my best, never got in trouble, I was, like, I was really a people pleaser, oh my god, look at me, who am I, Patrick Starr? I just wanted to try the velour puff and let you guys know what I thought, so, anyway, you're like, I never got in trouble, I always did my homework, I was super responsible, never, I didn't drink a sip of alcohol while I was in, um, while I was in high school, because I just was like... I was on the right track. I was just a good kid. One day, I get called down to the office by, I don't know why, I got like a slip or something that told me I needed to go down to the office. And it was right back, it was right when I got back um, from a week's vacation in, in Arizona because I was visiting my grandma um, or whatever. I get called down to like the detective's office. I mean, he's like the, he was like the, like officer, detective. He was called Detective well, I'm not going to say. Detective blank. And I get called down to his office. I was like, I didn't even know he had an office. He usually just like 
stands around and like scowls at kids while they're in the lunchroom and like you know what I mean I'm like what am I here for I thought I was gonna be like you know on the case of an investigation and because I of course didn't do anything wrong and he goes, we've been told by one of the teachers that they saw you go through the Sonic drive-thru, which by the way is right by, there's a Sonic right by my high school, my old high school. He said that I, they saw me go through a Sonic drive-thru, order a large drink, and then proceed to dump it out the window and drive away. And they said it was def, they definitely saw me do it. I'm like, What? And he's like, yes, one of the, yes, one of the older teachers said that you did that, that you went through the, you know, they saw you do it. It was you. I'm like, okay, and when did this happen? And I'm like, I didn't do that, but when did this happen? He's like, it, it happened during the week. Um, it happened on, like, Friday or something. I'm like, um, okay, first of all, check your f attendance records, by the way. I was out of town for the past week. Idiots, nice detective work. And then, if this supposedly happened, which it didn't, why would I ever go through the Sonic drive-thru? I didn't go to Sonic my entire four years of high school, by the way, but why would I ever go through a Sonic drive-thru, order a drink, and then dump it out the window? Like, I'm pretty sure that was before the days of the McDonald's, like, coning, or, you know, all those pranks or whatever, and I was not a prankster, let me tell you. So, and then, it's like, third of all, why would I like if this happened outside of school? Why am I getting called down to your office for something while I'm in school? like it didn't even happen on school premises? Like what are you talking about? It was so stupid. I literally was just like what are you doing? And then I was on a mission to ruin whatever teacher's life did that to me, but I don't I never found out who it was But sorry, I was like really bad and I just like trying to figure out how to how to move on um so anyway, that's my story of high school. Like, that's like high school in a nutshell. Just like stupid all the time. Now that I have my brows on, that took me 10 years and I still don't look very good. I just, I can't figure out my brows. But I got this at Sephora the other day and I was like, oh hell yeah. They only had two out. This smells, okay, so I know this is like the coconut summer collection, but this truly smells it's like every good memory I've ever had at the beach ever it's it's like beyond the coconut smell it's like truly i don't know how they did this but they captured like the essence of the beach in like a good time at the beach it's like smells like sunscreen and like it smells like a florida vacation i got it for 50 dollars. i'm gonna use my fave this is the it cosmetics brush um bronzer brush and i'm just gonna i mean the the mirror is huge the pan is huge and I've actually used this before, but I just like freaking love it. And you can't see that because I have the worst of lighting. I compared this to the other Marc Jacobs bronzer that's in the, the black packaging. And it is so, I like the color a lot better. Like the other one was more red and like, like orangey kind of. And this one is just straight up like, just like in a league of its own, you know? Okay, I don't know if you can see, but it, I just feel like it looks so good. Like I feel so bronzed right now. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Then I also got this palette. This is also a limited edition. Um, this is the F 790 Fantasine palette. And like, just look at that. Okay, so first I'm gonna go in with this shade right here called Flesh. Oh, these shadows are so good. I've been on such a Marc Jacobs kick recently. As we can probably tell. I didn't realize how good these palettes were. Like I've never tried their eyeshadows before and I guess I just never was listening to people when they said they were good. I'm gonna go in with this color right here as a transition shade. So you guys, Marc Jacobs is cruelty free. Marc Jacobs Beauty, I don't know if their fragrances are, but I do use Marc Jacobs. I feel, I consider them cruelty free. They don't sell in China um, and they don't test on animals. The the beauty brand. Well, I know a lot of people do consider Marc Jacobs to be a cruelty-free brand, and I'm one of those people for sure. Um, but, and then another one that's kind of controversial is Laura Mercier. So I, again, I do consider them to be cruelty-free, the brand, Laura Mercier. And the reason why is because none of their products, none of their products in any part of their production are tested on animals, not from their suppliers, um, and they're not sold in China either. So a lot of people, there's still like a lot of people that don't consider them for whatever reason because I think that their parent company is not cruelty free. 
Um, but there's a lot of companies that their parent company is not cruelty free, but the company is. Like, I'm pretty sure NYX is one of those where... I don't understand that, though. Like, because a lot of people consider NYX to be, like, you know, a cruelty free brand, as I do. But a lot of people are just, like... I don't know. I think that people really just take it... Like, I, I understand that it's a very serious thing. And, you know, I understand that as well as anybody else. And, of course, I wish every brand... I wish every single brand was was cruelty free, obviously. I think it's terrible um, that anyone tests on animals. Um, but I will say that I think sometimes people are just so annoying about it. Like you, when people comment, oh my God, that's not cruelty, cruelty free. What the hell? You said, I thought you were a vegan. I thought you were the blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, you know, if I'm using something I probably didn't know, you know, it takes a lot of research and all of that, you know, stuff. And I just do the best that I can do, you know. And um, if I make a mistake, then th that's okay. I'm not going to, like, crucify myself, you know. And um, if I accidentally buy a shampoo or if I accidentally buy a, a, a house, you know, cleaning thing or something like that, it's like, you know, sometimes I don't even think about things like nail polish. Like, I don't even think of, I didn't even think about it. Um, and that's usually the case of like what happened. By the way, I was using this shade right here in my outer corner and stuff, but uh, people really make it hard for other people to go cruelty free when they're like little Nazis about it. And they are just like, they're so annoying. You know, I'm never not going to be cruelty free. Um, but you really like some people really have to calm down and they really piss me off when they're in the comments like, I thought you were cruelty free oh my god look at you're such a hypocrite blah, blah, blah. you're you, i thought you were a vegan blah 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 like what you everything about like somebody commented the other day because i said that i wanted like a bigger bag for my sephora stuff like i never get a big bag and it was just a comment like it doesn't honestly it doesn't matter people are holding makeup too like i don't think of makeup as like the end all be all i don't think a bag me getting a bigger bag is like an end all be all it was just a comment that i made like i don't care if i get a real big bag for my stuff in, at the end of the day. But when people are so annoying, they're, so somebody commented, oh, I thought you were a vegan, uh, you, and you're, now you just want people to cut trees down and blah, blah. I'm like, what the f are you talking about? Like, you're just reaching and you're making people mad. And like, I don't, are you, like, I, I really hope that you're perfect at home. And I really, really hope that you are 100% perfect in your lifestyle, your ethics, everything like that at home. But when people are trying their best, that's what makes me mad because I can take it whatever, but like people, I, I know that people read the comments and of my videos and are probably like, oh my God, I'm just trying to, I know people want to go cruelty free and they want to like, you know, become vegan and stuff, but it's like people like that comment stupid shit like that, just rude, not unnecessary. It's like, it makes people not want to go and it makes it harder for people to go. And I'm, it's just like, I just want people to try their best, you know? I want people to do their best, and if they mess up, that's fine. As long as they are trying to reduce the amount of cruelty in the world and towards animals. That's it. But when people comment that stupid stuff about, oh, I thought you were supposed to be this, that's not cruelty for you, what the, what the hell are you doing? You're such a hypocrite, blah, blah. And I'm like, you really make people not want to be like you re you're really like you hurt the animals when you say things like that you really do because you really make people like me not want to talk about it as much honestly you really do because when you break people down over and over and over about trying to be like do you know what i mean do you know how many people that you're preventing from going cruelty free when you leave those comments like that i really i mean really truly it's so annoying like it's just it's so annoying and i think people are like they're so intense about it and I understand that it's like, you know, it's a very serious thing that, that animals are being used for testing when they don't need to be. And I understand, like, I understand, I get it. I'm on your side. Like, we're all on the same team, you know? Ugh. Sorry, I'm just like, ugh. It's so annoying, you know? It's like, I'm literally like, do you understand what you're doing? Like, do you have anything else to do? Okay, anyway. I'm using this shade right here. Um, it's called... Meet ya. Sorry, I had to do that rant. Besides that, it's been all positive today, but that's just been annoying me. Whoa, sister. This is really cute. Oh my god, yes. Oh my god, yes. Look at that shade. Like, oh my god. You know what else? Okay, sorry. To talk about it one more time, though, this annoyed the frick out of me, dude. 
So I called the, I consider the Impossible Burger a vegan burger, but some people were like, oh, are you kidding me? It's not a vegan burger. I'd rather do Beyond Meat because it's, um, cause they tested one ingredient on animals. So therefore it is not a vegan burger. And I'm like, are you kidding me, dude? First of all, it's a plant-based burger. I understand that it might not consider it vegan because one, one ingredient allegedly has been tested on animals. Okay, I'm sure that they don't do that anymore. I'm sure they got a lot of backlash for it. Don't come to me and tell me and complain that it's not a vegan burger. Go tell the company that. Do not come to me and tell me. Because, I, like, for me, it's a plant-based option, and it's something for people to eat. It is a huge win for the vegan community. It's a huge win for everybody that does not want to eat meat and limit their meat consumption. I'm glad that White Castle has licensed it. Impossible Burger tastes good. They make a huge difference. So many animals are saved because people are switching over to that. It's a huge deal that people are investing in the plant-based community. Do you realize what a win it is? Do you realize? And you saying, oh my god, they tested one, one ingredient on animal and complaining to me. Like, go complain to the company if you're so upset. Like, not to me. It's not, it doesn't do anything. Like, you really got to think through your comments sometimes, pe these people. Like, I'm not saying that it's any of you guys, really. It's just annoying people that, like, you know what I think it is? And this is truly, like, what I, what I think, and this is the longest video ever, sorry. But I really think that it's people who feel powerless and you know there's nothing there's not a lot that we can do honestly for um in our lifetime except for our best when it comes to trying to help animals and you know reduce the amount of suffering that they endure in their lifetimes um and do our best and eat plant-based and, and you know what i mean and, and do cruelty-free makeup and you know what i mean stuff like that when you can and if 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 you don't want to go totally cruelty free, do the best you can. Choose if you're if it's if you're deciding between a Becca product and a Makeup Forever product, choose Becca. You know, like that's the only thing that we can do. But I think people feel very powerless, and it's not their fault. Um, and I think we all feel that way towards animals and towards like just the the huge burden, you know, and how hard it's going to be to eventually end that one day. I'm sure it will one day end, you know, far in the future probably, but. You cannot go around policing everybody else because you feel powerless about your situation and about and how bad you feel about animals. I understand, but you really cannot, you know, the people that are trying, you really cannot try to break them down. The only thing that you can do is go out there, be a good influence to other people, do your best, feel the need to crucify somebody. Don't do it to people that are on your team, really. Really. You know, go ha set up a meeting with people with the meat industry go you know don't comment to me because i understand i i really do but you cannot act that way when you feel like your life's out of control and your situation's out of control and you don't know how to deal with your emotions so i know that i sound so angsty but you know i gotta do it once in a while <laughs> sometimes i just gotta let it out once in a while but anyway sorry can you see my eye i should have hopefully but this is called four more the dark, I'm using the dark shade. Ooh, a little bit of fallout with this one, but that's the look I created. Actually, let me move over here. Can we see a little bit better? I really should have been doing this angle the whole time. Wait, what is this? I think it looks pretty good. I mean, I gotta finish it up a little bit, but you know, you know. We'll use this today because I'm feeling a little Marc Jacobs, like a little Marc Jacobs wannabe, okay? That's what I'm feeling like. So I've been wearing a lot of just, just like, mascara with no false lashes lately because i'm going to new york it's it's fast approaching by the way um and i'm very excited about it like and i'll talk about that in another video probably like all of our plans and like you know because i've already talked a lot this whole this video let's be real um but i have a theory and i use this in speaking of high school i use this like for prom too this stupid theory but <laughs> I had the theory that like if I didn't look as good like the week up until prom then I would look extra good for prom does that make sense like if I didn't try if I didn't look my best like I looked a little bit like not my best then for prom I was gonna look really really good because like people would be like oh my god like you know so I try to look really ugly the week of prom <laughs> but that's kind of my theory right now is like 
Okay, I'm, I'm trying to look okay. But like when I go to New York, I'm going to have like my false lashes on, which I feel like I look the best when I have my false lashes on. Like, you know, big false lashes. But yeah, I've got some psycho... I've got some psycho tendencies for sure. I feel like I'm not the only one though that, that has felt that way before though. Like, let me know. Let me know if I'm, if I'm alone in that or if I'm not alone. Look how long I got my lashes. Like they're curled too. It really like kind of curls them. This is my fave mascara, it really is. I lost my other one, which is devastating when you lose a $26 mascara and you don't know where it went, but I'm glad to have it back. Like really glad, like, and it's, it's one of those mascaras that comes right out of the tube. Like, it comes out of the tube really good, you know? Like, some mascaras, like, I feel like this is how the Too Faced one is, where I feel like it does, it's not good right away. Like, you need to, like, use it a few times and then get past, like, that rough period, and then it's, like, okay. But for this one, it's just, like, straight out the tube. Good. Definitely recommend this palette to you guys, and I definitely recommend the bronzer. So, um, they also have a powder in that collection that I want to try that looks really good. Um, and then they also have like a new bronzer, like dew drops, which I have these dew drops and they're the freaking bum.com. I put my ponytail in with my extensions and I put my lipstick on. So I use the Too Faced Nude Beach lipstick and just my favorite. If you don't have it yet, but yeah, this is kind of what the eye look turned out like. I just like. I love it. It's just kind of a quick, simple, I feel like it is truly like a beach. If you had like a beachy, you're going to a beachy dinner. I don't know. Maybe I'm just making that up. Maybe I'm just spreading rumors. <laughs> but this is the bronzer. I definitely did not look this tan earlier, like at all. Um, you can tell by my arm, I'm not that tan right now. But And then I also did little freckles, which you probably cannot see. But yeah, I really like this look. I really, really do. I usually don't like them this much, but anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. That is it. I talked for way too long, <laughs> as usual. Make sure to leave a comment on anything that you want to talk about, anything that I talked about in my video. Anyway, that is it for this video. I hope that you guys subscribe if you are not already. Make sure to leave a like on the video, follow me on my other social media, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!